problem is when men are young, they're going to live forever. They, nothing will get in the way. It's why young guys do stupid things, because it's not going to hurt them. It's why are teenagers promiscuous in the face of HIV and hepatitis C and all these other things? Because it will happen to somebody else, but it'll never happen to them. And then as men get older, they get into this pattern of reactive care. They don't understand about proactive health care. They don't understand that that's their body for life, that they have to be in tune with their body and take care of it. And if they do, the quality of their life experience will be dramatically improved. But when they do these abusive things, when they drink too much drugs, uh, the overweight, then that impacts on them. They don't realize that that never happening to me, it will happen, and it's just around the corner. And then when it happens, it's often too late. Why is it too late? Because they've had years of abusive behavior. They've, they've eaten the wrong foods. They've had too much to drink. They smoke, uh, hypertension diabetes, liver disorders, cholesterol problems. And those are the guys, you know, you read about people in their 40s and 50s who suddenly get a heart attack and die or have a massive stroke. It doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's random bad luck, but sometimes it's things they've been doing all these years. Unlike women who are mentally, our society programs them to be into preventative health. They start going to the OBGYN young in life. They go to the doctor for checkups. Women are the leaders in healthcare in this country. Almost all the healthcare decisions are driven by the women. I'm sure on WebMD, a lot of the women, in fact, on the Men's Health Message Board, a lot of times it's women asking the questions. And you'll want to wonder if it's about blood in the semen or erection disorders or pain or lumps or bumps, how come the guy isn't there asking himself? And it's because that's not what guys do. Guys will comment on it, but I don't know whether it's fear or if it's the denial, or maybe they don't value themselves enough, but, but the wives are the ones that go online and ask the questions.